I have just raced home after two very, very, very busy and stressful night shifts. Um, technically, I should be sleeping. I want to sleep, but today I'm getting my wardrobes fitted in my bedroom and all the rest of the furniture, of course. They were supposed to be here at eight. However, I've just got a text saying that they're going to be here between eight and nine. So they're not here just yet. Um, but yeah, that is what's happening today. I'm going to try and sleep a little bit on the couch if I can. But I'm not 100% convinced because they'll be making a lot of noise up here, I think. This is the before. So this is where we pulled the carpet up at the weekend. now just before three o'clock I have not slept <laughs> and it's coming up to 24 hours with no sleep because I went to sleep um I woke up yesterday at about four o'clock so I'm getting pretty tired I'm starting to flag I tried to doze while the wardrobe fitter was here but to be quite honest it was impossible I didn't realize he was going to be like drilling and um basically sawing and doing everything with the wardrobes <laughs> which was a bit stupid of me but anyway um he's just gone and it looks like really good progress and um, there's a few things I've found since he's gone that I'm not super happy with but hopefully he'll be able to either fix them or do something with them or reorder something but I thought I'd give you a quick update and show you so in the la in the hallway at the moment I've got the doors for the wardrobe so this is the like panelling design and then it's these gold brushed gold handles which I love and these are the other side of the doors. I've got two doors with mirrors on. Um, and I did think they were full length, like the full door. But obviously it's not. So I might have to try and get a bit of a refund for that. In the spare room, I've got the drawers for the chest of drawers. And I've got the side tables. Now this one looks fine from what I can see. I don't want to move them, but this one looks like it's got quite a bit of damage on the corner, which is annoying. So I would like that to get replaced ideally. Into the bedroom, he's obviously had to pull up more of the carpet and <laughs> look at the amount of stuff he's got. So he's got a table, move my bed, all the tools in here, all the tools down here. All these tools, so many tools. Boxes and boxes of tools. So these are the chest of drawers. Obviously, this top one will go <clears throat> next to it. Um, but yeah, looks good at the moment. And then over here is the wardrobes. So they're almost fitted in. Um, obviously, all the insides are in, which is lovely. They've got to do the plinth at the top to fit it into the wall. And then obviously put the skirting board on as well. He hasn't mentioned anything about this space at the side, but I wanted obviously it to be fitted. So I'm assuming there's going to be another sort of plinth here to fit it to the wall because there's no way we're going to get carpet down there. <laughs> so I'm hoping that'll be fitted in. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. You can probably see in the background that I have stripped this bed and taken down the air mattress, the blow up bed, because my mum's coming in the next couple of hours and she's bringing my actual mattress. Um, so then this room will almost be finished. Um, I just need to rearrange all this because this will then be going in my wardrobe. And obviously everything in the wardrobe will be going in my wardrobe too. Because at the moment I'm kind of using this room as a, like a dressing room because I haven't had any wardrobe space or like any storage space in the bedroom at all. So all this will be going into the wardrobe, like the shelving area where I'm going to be using as a dressing table. Um, and then this will literally just be a spare bedroom. 
Very annoyingly, my HelloFresh parcel has for some reason reverted back to the billing address, even though I've specifically changed it to a new address. So it's gone to my rental, so I'm quickly driving there now. Um, my mum will be here in about 15 minutes, so I think she's going to get here about 15 minutes before me. So I'm going to leave a key um, in a secret place and hopefully she can get in. Um, I wanted to show her the wardrobe, so I'm a little bit annoyed. But anyway, hopefully I can pick those up and get back in not too bad of a time. Well, I expected they are already back, which is slightly annoying, um, but hey ho, um, we'll see what's happening inside. I am so cold all of a sudden. Um, they ended up coming over, putting the mattress in before I got back, which was good. Gave them a quick tour of the house, like they haven't seen the bathroom finished, they've not seen the study finished, and obviously no one's seen the wardrobe, so they saw the start of those at least. Um, we ended up going out for a meal to the pub. I really didn't want to go, but they convinced me to go, and as I was always dressed, I figured why not. I obviously didn't put any makeup on, which you can probably tell, um, but hey ho. So we went to a pub local to my cousin. I mean, it's only 10 minutes from here, so it's not too far. Um, honestly, I wasn't too impressed. My fish and chips were really like mushy and soggy, um, but everyone else seemed to like their food. So we're now back, everyone's gone home, and I think I'm gonna get a very early night because obviously I haven't slept. So I woke up at before four o'clock yesterday and it is now eight. So we're on like going on 29 hours now. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna fall to sleep well tonight. Unfortunately, because my bed is out of action, I need to make up the spare bed. And yeah, I've not done that yet. As you can probably hear upstairs, the kitchen fitter, no, <laughs> the wardrobe fitter is here and started working. The Ren kitchen replacements for some of the broken units has just arrived um, and I've not had a chance to fully look yet, but from what I can briefly see, it looks like it is all there, which is good and not damaged. Um, I've got my Hello Fresh box here. I literally shoved everything in the fridge when I got back. So I'm just gonna go through it now. I have had a very, very busy morning. I woke up at eight to let the wardrobe fit in. Did I already say this? I think I did. <laughs> um, anyway, a few hours ago, I went out to do some jobs. So I did a tip run. I returned some clothes. I did a Sainsbury shop. I went to Denelm and picked up a few bits. I, what else did I do? I returned, I went to the post office to do um, some letters. I returned some parcels via Hermes, although it's now called Every, which I still really don't understand. I really would like to know why they've needed to change the name. Um, and then I went to the hospital to see a lady that I left last night and felt awful about leaving her. Haven't been able to stop thinking about it, but she's doing really well and her little boy is very cute. So I think she was pleased to see me and it was nice to say hello and goodbye. Um, but the wardrobe fitter has literally just left. Um, He's finished, as you can probably tell in the background. It looks amazing. There are a couple of bits that just aren't finished perfectly. Um, so I'm going to try and get some sort of refund, although I have only paid £100 so far. So um, it's altogether coming to about £5,000, which is a lot of money. So because of that, I think it should be perfect. So I'm going to send them some pictures and hopefully they'll take some money off the bill, um, but we will see. So yeah, it feels very weird to be in here. So I'll show you a quick picture and some videos. Um, it's not quite finished yet. I've still got the carpet fitted to come and finish fitting the carpet, but this is it at the moment. So these are the wardrobes. It is fitted absolutely perfectly the whole way around. And I absolutely love it. Like look at the attention to detail here i don't think it could have been like better 
Here is the chest of drawers, which are lovely. Um, I think they're centered perfectly, but I will measure it. I need to move it though, because this part of the carpet has been pulled up. And so the carpet fit is gonna need to fit the carpet. And I'm kind of hoping I can move it myself. And then on this side, these are the side tables. Um, they're a lot taller than I expected, if I'm honest. I thought they would be sort of level with the bed, but it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's fine. <laughs> and then he's just knocked quite a lot of areas of paint off. I don't know what that is. Um, so I need to touch up a few marks in the wall, which is a little annoying. Um, and then here on the green and on the other side, and then the ceiling up there. But all in all, it's it looks lovely. Um, it's a little bit darker than I anticipated, but I think it's just because it's next to the bed and the bed is quite light. So maybe I should have got the lighter colour, but the lighter colour was really, really light. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I love the actual like units themselves. So I've had my paintbrushes out and have been painting and I literally went to the garage well, I painted the hallway at the same time as well because the painter had missed a part, which has been annoying me for ages and I keep getting to do it. Um, and the builders ended up getting some spots on it. And then I think the guy today got some like oil on it. Um, so I'd done the bedroom first and then I went to do the hallway and then I've tied it up, put everything in the garage and I've just come back up to show you, but it looks like it's all dried because I can barely see where it is, which is good. You can kind of see the ceiling mark where it's slightly darker. So like this corner, this part and this part. I think he's done it where he was measuring up for where the corner was probably. Um, but I've painted that. There was like a load of marks down here where I assume something was resting. So I've painted that. There was some paint scratched off in spots. There's some paint scratched off here and then along here. So I've painted all that and then the green has seemed to have dried really fast. So you can kind of see here where it's a bit wet still. It actually looks easier on camera <laughs> than it does in real life, but that's where I've painted, that's where I've painted and then another spot on the other side. But all seems to be blending, so not too big of a deal. And then this streak down here wasn't painted at all. So I've painted that part and I've painted like the few spots here and here. This is the oil that I think the deck, the wardrobe fitter got today. And I don't think it, I think it, I don't think it's gonna cover it, but hey ho. The carpet fitter ended up coming bright and early this morning, only took about 20 minutes. So it was fitted really quickly and easily. Um, I've spent a few hours now organizing the master bedroom, getting it finished, getting everything put in place, and it looks beautiful. I'm really, really happy with it. So I will pop some clips in now and show you the big master bedroom reveal. As you can probably tell from the length of this video it's been a bit of a process getting it all sorted and it started before i even moved in um but anyway i'm so glad it's almost done like i said in an earlier clip um there are a few places that some of the furniture has dents in it or the paint scrapes so i have messaged them um and i think they're going to come out and replace some of the bits shortly but you can't really tell unless you look closely so I'm going to end this video here. I am now heading to, well, I'm going to get ready and then head to Wakefield. Um, but I'll start a new vlog for that. So thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you next time.